Mail and I'm back with a brand new video. In this one I'm going to be showing you how I made my cosplay for Fubuki from Kankole, her Kainii version. This is also the outfit that she wears in the movie and, I mean, I made it without any sewing. I actually glued the entire thing because I was short on time. I had to make this in like three days, so I did. <laughs> if you want to see how I made my gun, which I'm going to link down below a video that I have a full tutorial for it, you can use it for any other gun, but you know, you can also use this for any other safe or cool outfit. This is just for Fubuki, you know. You can just change the colors and the shapes for the other outfit. So let's get started. I'm going to be starting by showing you how I made this main color part of your costume, which is very common in many anime girls, especially like school uniforms. They have this particular, you know, sailor color thingy. So the first thing you need to make is a pattern. I'm going to show you the pattern that I used right here. You can copy the measurements and use them on a piece of paper, cut it out and use it as it is. I'm going to tell you that I didn't use it exactly like that. I cut it out exactly like this and then I was wearing the paper and seeing how I, it was too big, it was too small in some places. So I was kind of cutting and, you know, putting it in the shape that I really want. The shape is fine, as you can see here, we're going to have my cutout. This is from like some aquarella paper that you're supposed to put watercolors in, but I had an extra sheet that no one used and I was like, I use it for my color. <laughs> Alright. So what you see me doing here is taking some black fabric and tracing this thing on there. So if you want to sew this, you could usually do this on like two different in two, two fabrics put on each other, but I didn't do that. So since I was gluing it and not really sewing it, I didn't turn one piece of fabric as you can see. So with chalk, I just, you know, traced it and cut it out, leaving a border around it. So as you can see, yes, um, yes, yeah, so that we see the scissors. <laughs> Alright, so I cut it out and then I did something that is really crucial if you're gluing it. If you can see me pointing these little tabs that I cut. This is the extra border I cut around and I just divided it into little tabs. So here I'm showing you that you're gonna fold those tabs and glue them down. Or you can just sew this thing all around if you just made it the other way. But now we're doing the glue part. So as you can see here by my super sped up video, I glued it and every single of these little tabs down from the back from the bad side of course I was just you know so yes I burned myself many times during this process and it took forever to make them line up and just you know be okay but you know it's fun it's an nice thing to do when you're literally doing nothing with your life which you know I would recommend it <laughs> making a sailor color because you're doing nothing but you know yeah you can see me cutting more tabs because I was responsible and I just didn't cut all of them and I started gluing so here's how it looked like when I had glued all of the tabs down. So it looks pretty good, right? No, it's not too bad, you know, this is the good side. And here you see me taping it with electrical tape because I didn't have any other tape. So Fubuki has this like a red stripe, so we're gonna add that stripe with some paint. And let me tell you that the paint that I used was complete. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna curse, it was really bad. <laughs> I used this fabric paint that I use for all of the costume. I used two bottles of this for the entire costume and it was super expensive and it was the only one I could find and I wish I had bought a ribbon and just sewed it on there or glued it on there. It was literally a pain in the bum to do this because it took like six layers to do. Six layers for like a stripe. Oh my gosh, this is how it looked like after many many layers. It looks good, yes, but it took so much time <laughs> out of my day. Oh my god, okay. So here you can see me wearing this. Yes, I look terrible, you know, who cares, I'm wearing my pajamas, judge me. But this is how it looked like from the back. I made it quite long because I like it. And now I'm going to show you how I made my little armband thingies. These are pretty standard for most Japanese schoolgirl uniforms, although she's not a schoolgirl, this still applies to her because she's wearing a Seifuku type outfit. So here's my white shirt that I sacrificed for this cosplay. You can buy white shirts, plain ones on eBay for like a euro or something, don't spend your money on like expensive shirts and ruin them, and don't ruin the shirts that you're gonna wear, so I had an old shirt and I used it. I cut the sleeves because I was having a long sleeve shirt, you can buy like a pre-made short sleeve shirt, like super cheap like I said, and you can, you know, modify this one. It's the cheapest way to make this outfit, because most people like, might have a white shirt laying around and they never wear it. Like, I never wear white, because I'm always make it, messing it up. Alright, here is my pattern for those, like, you know, those scuff slavery thingies that I don't even know how to make this why I highlighted everything that I make, I just don't know how to call them, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's 22 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters long. I used different kinds of rectangles and I saw that this one fits better for me. Of course, you need to make it a little bigger than you think you're gonna need it. And of course, I traced it onto my black fabric. And note, this black fabric was actually an old skirt that no one wanted and I just used it for this cosplay. 
So here you can see me that I have already cut this out of uh, some fabric and I am doing the exact same thing that I did for the for the collar. I am just, you know, gluing it down with glue. That's literally what I'm doing. I've cut it, leave the border around it and just glue it down to the shape that I want it and the length that I want it to be. I again, I'm taking my tape and my terrible, terrible paint and I have to paint it again. Oh, you know what? You know, it's just, it's just paint. You could look how transparent that is. Oh my god, it took so many layers to do this. And I had to do like the, the little thingy. Oh my gosh, stuff. I, oh, I hate this paint so much. I can't even speak thinking about that paint, honestly. It's so bad. Look how transparent it is. It was so expensive. Three euros for the bottle for this thing? It had so little in it and it was not working. If it was working, I was gonna be fine. Like 50% of the video is me complaining about the paint. And then I just glued this on the sleeve. I mean, it's literally really straightforward. I just glued the black thing on the sleeve and everyone was happy. And of course you need to glue the, bl the black rectangle together to form like a circle because it has to go around your arm. Again, you know, I'm, I'm showing the glue again. I don't know why I'm showing this. Just to show that they're closed shut now. Like, I am confused sometimes with my own videos, man. Alright, whatever. Glue them together and attach them to your sleeve. And this is how it should look like after you have attached it. I mean, if you really mess up, you can literally just take off the glue and try to do this again. And this is how my costume looked like. Yay! So what I did was cut the portion of the shirt that was peeking underneath my collar and make this little thingy that was supposed to be the thing that is always under the collar that no one knows how it's called. But, you know, I did not look up for terms. What I did was basically trace how big I had to make it and cut up the shirt that was, you know, like peeking there. Because nobody wants that. Nobody wants the extra fabric there because it's gonna show through and make it look really, 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 really bad. I also cut the color of the shirt because who's gonna see that and we really don't need it. It's gonna show up and look really bad. So here you can see my very artistic skills, you know, just blooming as I try to actually sketch the little thing that's supposed to go in there. I made a couple of sketches and tried them onto me, you know, put the shirt on and saw if it fit and everything. Again, make it a little bigger than you think you're gonna need because it needs to actually be covered a little bit by the collar and, you know, and attach the shirt. So here's me making the shape onto like a black fabric. And you know the drill, cut a border around it, make the little thingy tab stuff. You, need, you can see how what I did here. And glue every single one of these tabs down, which should take less time because this is technically a really small piece. What I did next was cover it in tape again and put the red details on it with the freaking horrible red paint that I'm never gonna stop complaining about because it's that bad. And of course the color has a design on it with a little anchor. I painted that and I didn't record it because it was literally me painting the same design five and six and ten times because this paint was really transparent. So this is how it looked like. And now we're gonna take the little blue thingy and make it. I mean, I was just one to show. I didn't have a picture of it all done without the blue thingy underneath it. So I was like, well, put that picture there because I lost some footage because it's me and I always make mistakes. But oh well, we're gonna make the blue thingy now because I, this is the only picture that I have. When I say the blue thingy, I mean this right here. And if you're confused, so am I. <laughs> so let's make it. It's a rectangle but speaking under the collar with a little small bow. So I put like. These are two pieces of blue fabric, as you can see, that I put underneath and I drew the shape of the thing that I wanted it to be. And then I just cut, I don't know why I have footage of me cutting the piece, I just thought I needed to do that. But you know, this is me cutting it and thinking it's not really working and closing the camera because who chose cutting fabric? I don't know. But this is how it looked like, it looks pretty asymmetrical right now because I really messed up, but I fixed it <laughs> by ironing it a little bit and, you know, messing with the shape. But this is what you generally want it to look like. We're gonna add this to the shirt after we add the little bow. So I cut a terrible piece of fabric, as you can see, out of my, you know, my blue fabric that I had to cut because it was too much. I had some blue fabric laying around, it was like a sprouch bra or something, that's what I used. And I tied a little bow with it nice so I put the bow right in the middle and I glued it there because you know don't don't sew it we don't we're not sewing in this video although I love sewing and I'm I like I think I'm okay at it I think I'm okay at it but now we're just gluing everything because I had to do this in three days 
and then glue it onto the little triangle thingy with the anchor. Also, for a thing that I had to drew like 10 times in a row, I think the anchor looks pretty good, you know, considering the horrible paint. I'm not really complaining about this, aren't I? <laughs> Anyways, so you have to glue this onto the blue thingy after you try it on your shirt. You know, try them all and see where you need to glue it. I glued it there because, I mean, this is how it looks like. What I'm showing right here is the anchor and the red stripe on her song. Yeah, I did not do this. You can use the same fabric paint, or another fabric paint than the one that I used, and literally do this. But that's all I did, really. Am I lazy? No, I was just really short on time. I had to make this in like a few days only, and I think it turned out pretty good. You know, I used my own knee highs that I didn't have the thing on it because I really wanted them to be used for other cosplays as well. And here is me again with my gun. I hope you like my gun. My shirt was horrible in these photos. Many have been hiked up and it looks bad. But I really enjoyed it overall. And I'm going to leave you with some footage of the convention now. Bye.